Hello giant pumpkin people. Today we are going to be making us a couple. Actually I've already made one so you can see what it looks like. Miniature greenhouses. This is the Cecil Weston greenhouse. What they're going to have is a door on front, opens up, little hinge in the middle which is the automatic vent opener so when it gets hot inside it'll automatically open and close and the reason I'm building these is because we're gonna we had an early start like I said everybody's got the coronavirus going on so we are gonna make some greenhouses we're gonna show you the step-by-step -step process here we go all right so what materials do we need all of these are two by ones and I took two by fours and I used treated wood and I cut them down on the table saw so they're all two by ones right now a little bit over but what do we need we need ten five foot long ones here's then you're gonna get two five foot one inch ones and then you're going to need three at 32 and 5 8 three at 23 and three quarters three at 13 and a quarter three at 23 inches and then you're going to need all of these are going to have a 10 degree angle so you cut them down to the 13 and a fourth and then you'll cut a 10 degree angle so there's a little anger on just one end not on both ends so on one end you're going to have two of the 13 and a fourth two at 16 and a fourth two at 19 and a half and two at 22 inches all of that is in inches so all right here we go we're gonna get started building all right so how this is all pretty much put together it's a real system simple system each one of these ends here and here and then the top and then the top here and the end piece here is all basically a square you know so the first one that we're going to focus on building is the front side here very easy right here so this is the piece that we're going to work on so what you need for that is two of your five footers and then three the three 23 inch long ones and all you're going to do is line them up right here on the end Square it up, and you now I use a T square just to make sure your ends are square. That way, you know that this is nice and square. And then screw them in on the ends. That's it. Put this one right in the middle, right 30 inches. Screw it in there, there, and there. All right, see you here in a second. All right, now it's time to build the back wall right here. Building that guy. So Come over here once again. We got three at 13 and a fourth. Get those three, and then two more of your five footers. All right, there. We'll build them again, same way as the last one. This is what it should look like when you're done, right there. Okay, so there's one end. We'll put all together, we'll get the next one. All right, there it is laid out. Now, same as before, lay your three boards out, and then your ends, and just screw them in. Now, something that I didn't tell you is if you'd like to, you can drill pilot holes to help from splitting, especially on the ends. Do a little countersink and all that good stuff. Um, and another thing on mine, I only use three braces. You can add more wood in here if you're gonna do some out side a lot where it's windy maybe you want to add a few extra braces i'm only doing three mine goes into my greenhouse so we will get this all screwed together okay now we've got both of our ends done so it's time to lay out our sides so we're going to work on the two sides that one and that one this is where your 10 degree angle comes in so i was saying that those each of those pieces has a 10 degree angle it runs at a little bit of an angle like this so these are all, this one here has an angle, 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 angle. Alright, so if you come over here, 
You just lay it all out right there. The angle is going down. And now how I do this is I put this one in and this one in and same with this end using your T-square. Get these two end pieces on, screwed in. And then these will just go into place. These two middle ones, wherever they fit, that's where you screw them on. All right, see you in a bit. And one thing I forgot to mention, the pieces that you'll need is a five foot board. And this is your five foot, one inch board, hi Kate. <laughs> and then these are each of your ankle pieces, which is one of the 13 and a fourth, one of the 19 and a half, one of the 16th and a fourth, and one of the 22 inches. All right, so get them laid out and then screw them together. Now we'll see you in a bit. Okay, now we've got all four of our sides and ends built. So now it's time to screw them all together. This is how I like to do it. Best to get you a few helpers. You hold them all up and then you're just going to screw those two ends together. Big end to that side and then the same thing here. This goes on the inside just like this here. You can see that this is on the inside. So these are gonna be your inside pieces here, and these will be your outside pieces there. So here we go, time to screw it together. We'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye. Okay, so now we got her all screwed together, and now it's time to just put the top on. Pretty easy here. You just get two of your five footers. Right here's one, here's the other one down here, and then you get three of your 32 and 5 eighths. So you just screw these directly on there, screw that on there. You put this one in the middle here, and one on the end right there, and that's it. Put, screw those in, and we'll see you here in a little bit. It should be starting to take shape. All right, now it's time to make our door. And so we just want to, one of the most important things to do when you're making your door is to dry fit it. So I haven't screwed these on. You can take them out. And you can see there, they're a little loose, which is good because, like I said, this is going to be a automatic vent opening. So you want to make sure that your top drawer is a real, real tight. If the, if the, if the door can't open and close, real easily it's going to be real tough for it to do that and to open up by itself so biggest thing just dry fit it make sure you can slide them in and out and then it's time to screw them together here we go okay now you screwed your door together pretty easy just screw them up and now you need to make sure you put your hinges on okay so you put one here and you put one down at the other end. The biggest thing with the door, just making sure it opens easily. You don't want it to be catching or nothing like that. Because now it is time to put what on, bud? Um, the automatic opener. The automatic vent opener. So we'll get the automatic vent opener installed and we will show you guys how we do that. See you in a little bit.